some people. I know. Or like uh, building a tent in there or something. I know. It's crazy. Well, anyway, what I wanted to tell you is about my genealogical charts, which I've been doing a lot of research into. Okay? Uh -huh. I found out that my family came across in the Mayflower, uh -huh. right? Um, we came from the British Isles, from Wales, which is the home of Camelot. I am directly related to somebody in the court of Camelot. Guess who? Uh, I don't know. Merlin, the magician. The, the Merlin? Yep, that's right, homie. The one and only Merlin. His blood is flowing through me. And that explains so much of uh, why I like to do magic tricks as a kid. I mean, once I sent away for this pack of cards, and blood. <laughs> Nice shot, Milford. Thank you, great commentator. I know what a hardship it is for you, with all these pip-squeaking little children running around trying to get a piece of your pie. Well, you're a nice man to say so, Milford. Certainly life isn't easy for wizards ever since Microsoft invented the blasted computer in 1985. Still, I keep busy. I have jobs. I work. Lord knows how I work, Milford. But just the other week, I was sent to the Great Barrier Reef by the CIA soaking up an oil spill. Next month I have to go turn a pack of Cuban pirates into a handful of potato skins. Today's my birthday, Milford. I'm 500 years old today. I was looking into getting some health insurance, but too many pre-existing conditions. I've been smoking for 500 years, Milford. Why do you need health insurance? Aren't you immortal? Have you seen what my teeth look like after 500 years? Mr. Merlin, will you tell me again? Double cold latte, skin milk. Oh shit, that's my coffee. One second. Sit down, Milford. Who's that? Listen to me. One thing I cannot stand is a filthy, filthy tongue. I would cut it out of your face if you weren't in a Starbucks right now, Milford. But let me tell you something. For thousands of years, I've listened to kings squeal and princes whine and whine and whine in the dirtiest, dirtiest words imaginable. Where's it gotten them but dead? Look at me. I am a 500-year-old wizard. I've never once uttered a four-letter word. You disgust me. You have, a, you have a mouth like a diaper, baby. I hate you, Milford. I hate you so much. I hate you more than I've ever hated anything else in my entire life because of how you sound. Because it's disappointment. I have respect for you too, Milford. In a way, I love you as well. As a son. As a clean-mouthed son. Anyway, drink your coffee. I'm sorry I got into an outrage, but never swear again. Or I'll kill you. Sorry. So bad. Oh, what's this? My goodness, I'm getting something on my smartphone, Milford. Why, it's a communique from the Earl of Dubai, if there is such a thing. He wants me to... Well, it's quite hazy. Ah, he wants me to come in for a two-month run to use my wizardry on a film directed by Brian Singer. And it's starring Egad Robert Patterson, the vampire boy. Huh. This day's shaping up rather nicely after all. Master Merlin, I believe the barista's making an announcement. Whomsoever shall be the hero of the day and draw the key from the keyhole of the Starbucks bathroom door, he or she shall be a judge, the king and queen of Starbucks, and shall be the CEO of this land. <laughs> 